Hi there, everyone. It's uh, Terry Malloy here. Uh, that's not Saint Terry Malloy, although the halo, well, the halo just follows me around everywhere. Don't worry about it. Um, and I'm going to be talking today about the mental battleground uh, when you're in recording. Um, obviously, when we're recording audio dramas, we're, we're there together, we're all chatting. It's, it's very much more relaxed than when you go into the studio on your own. Then it's just you and this monster. This is the demon in the corner of the room. This is the thing that will suck your oral soul out. You have to fear it. You have to be so respectful of it. No, you don't. This is your friend. Your relationship is with this microphone and with the microphone through to the other end where the person is, the one person that you're reading that book to, let's talk about audio books, that is your communication. And you can treat the microphone, you know, as a lover by coming in close, by pulling away and giving it some, some you know, what are you doing um, attitude. Um, but it is your absolute friend. Look on it as your friend and uh, you're halfway there. The other thing is concentration. The difficulty when you're on your own is concentrating. When you've got other people around, you get sparked off and things like that. But on your own, you've got your project to do and you're ploughing through it from nine in the morning till whatever. You um, have to deal with it. And um, it can be difficult. Um, we all do it. I've done it. Got till three o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, you've just had a nice dinner or something or other, and you're reading this story and it's terribly interesting. And the more you read it, the slower you seem to get until. I can't remember what I've just said. Um, it's because I kind of dropped off, I blacked for a second and you have to go back. And it's to do with the concentration that you, you bring to it throughout the book. That, a lot of that comes from preparation. Really prepare your book. Go through it time and time again. Work out what the storyline is or the technical aspects, what the pronunciations are. Have them marked up in your own language so you can run into them without having to think, oh, is it a, or is it a, mm, uh, and go through it um, so that you're ready for what's coming next. And trying to maintain that, um, that, that sense of being awake and concentrating is a tough one. You know, don't let anybody tell you it's, it's dead easy doing audiobooks. Um, it's not. It, 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 it's quite a trial. The other thing, obviously, is to keep yourself well and truly watered so that you're not halfway through something. You suddenly find yourself, you're going, and, and that creates a tension. Anything that is not... Feeling good creates tension. You start to stiffen, your voice goes in a different way. And it's not the microphone's fault, it's the demons that are within you in performing in that environment. So keep yourself well watered. I tend to drink uh, or gargle with ginger beer because it helps an astringent in the throat as well. And uh, there's a bit of a sweetness kick as well, which uh, keeps me going through the day. And finally, I'd just like to mention, because I don't want to go on and on, I'm probably um, offering a large packet of eggs to my grandmother at the moment, but um, um, this is the other demon, one of the other demons, I should say. It's, uh, yeah, it's that script, that, that, that noisy script that you have to turn over and not make it sound on the microphone. Um, well, there's no way you can really do that without being very well prepared as you turn the script to get through it. But it creates the same tension. You're coming up to it, you know you've got to turn the script. You're, you're straining to get through it. You get through it and you've done it and you've done it and you've done it. And then you immediately foul up on the next sentence. Well, the answer, as I'm sure most of you know, um, is this little baby. Yep, the iPad with your script on it. And that's dead easy because you can just scroll away. You come to the end of a page, you're scrolling on. There's no need to do anything but just carry on. There is no page turns. There's no noise going to happen. And immediately there's a much calmer environment for you to deal with. So, there we are. Um, I won't go on any longer. There's a couple of things. Love your microphone. Prepare your script. Drink lots of water. 
keep your stamina up. And um, best of all, really, um, use an iPad um, to actually do, do, do your reading. You know it makes sense. Well, have a good one. Um, you can go away again now. I don't want you. And um, enjoy your time in the studio. Bye.